Praise be to God, ladies and gentlemen. God is good. And all the time, God is good. Amen. Amen. I am so happy to be in this place. Randy Anderson Kadu. She's Randy Anderson Kadu. Nva, mm -hmm. yes. Okay. I don't know where you can see it. The other one is but I can over see there. Nva mu Norway. She comes from Norway. Ndi mchala mufumbo. She's married. Omwami wangi ye omosumba Robert Kadu wa Grace Church Kansanga. Uh, her husband is uh, Pastor Kadu in Kansanga. Praise God. Now we switch. <laughs> you may be seated. It is truly an honor to be here today. On this Women's Day. I'm honored to have been invited. And I couldn't say no to this invitation. Although I left something important behind. On Friday, we had bad news in our church. Um, our choir leader passed away. A young woman, single mother, not even 35 years old. And now, they're, they're having a funeral service at our church. So I ask myself, God, what is this? I was torn. I, I needed to be there. I needed to be here. But I felt it was important to honor this program. So, so I'm here. If my eyes are red and puffed, it's because I was crying before I came here. But that's life. The Bible says that we should rejoice in the Lord at all times. So, we are here to rejoice. So, I honor Kabona and the leadership of this church, the women's leader, all the ministers, all the women, all the ladies of this church. I'm very happy to meet you. Praise God. Amen. Um, as was said, I have been entrusted and elected with the office of being the women's leader for Much India. And I don't work alone. This is my committee. I don't know. This one has a challenge. Oh, it so they don't been. see. I just so see. they don't see. It's you who is seeing. <laughs> oh, okay. So I work with a committee that is made of, up of the women's leader for the five fraternities. And uh, my vice is Mrs. Esther Nyango, whom mm. I think you know very well. So we have been working together for some years. And uh, we have done different things. We've had many conferences. But our conferences um, have often had a special theme. We have called them job fairs. Job. And what we do in a job fair is that we teach about money. 
Tusomesa kubia sente. How to save money. Engeri joy inzo kutele kako kasente. How to work hard. Engeri joy ino kola mwenyo. How to handle money. Engeri joy ino kuata mu sente. And then we have practical workshops. Atene tubela nente kateka ezo kuigiriza abantu ebi kuati kako. Teaching women to do practical things. We've had workshops like making books. Making liquid soap. Vaseline, making jewelry. Um, rearing chicken. Um, baking. cakes and bread. Emigati. Um, decorating cakes, knitting, uh, making samosas, making greeting cards, making chalk, and various other things that I cannot remember right now. And we have taught women for free. And we have had reports that women have started up their small businesses making money. And we're so grateful for that. During COVID, we had to take a break. Uh, uh, but next year we will start up again with job fairs. Because for sure, I know things are not easy. We need money. We need to take care of our children. We need to send them to school. So when I inform you of a job fair, in one of the fraternities in Mach India. I kindly request that you come. Because the women who have been there, they have been blessed and they've been coming back again and again and again. So you're most welcome. Amen. Amen. This year, uh, we work together with the women in the other divisions of Kampala. So this year, our vision is to pray. So yesterday, we were in Faith Arena Kaboa. Kabo, Praying. Praying for the nation. Praying for the family. And praying for the church. We prayed the whole day. No lunch. Chain prayer. One woman leads in prayer for 10-15 minutes. And then another woman comes and leads. And then another woman comes. And we pray non-stop. So the next such prayer meeting. You are very much invited. It will be that side of Nakawa. In Ntinda. A church called Grace Cathedral. And it will be on, it's always on a Saturday. So this next one will be on 9th of July. I will, I will make sure to send a reminder to your women's leader that she can pass it on to you. Because we would love to see you in our meetings. You're a big and powerful church. I see you are powerful women. And we want to get to know you more. Amen. Amen. Praise God. I want to appreciate the choir for ministry. You look very smart in your gomeses. 
I kind of regretted that I didn't put on my gomez. Because my gomez is also like that purple one, almost the same. So I could have come and joined you. Another time. Praise God. Amen. So as you may have guessed, as you may have guessed, since I talked about the job fairs, money, is something that is important to me. I enjoy teaching and preaching about money. And I think, if I asked here, and don't worry, I'm not going to ask. Because I already know the answer. If I asked you, how many of you want God to intervene in your finances? How many of you want God to bless you in your finances? I know all the hands would go up. I know. I know. Even my hand would go up. Maybe both hands. Amazima sina gumo na yebi di jandi genze na waguru. Amen. Amen. If we don't have, we want. Kubanga tetulina atebi tuetaga. If we have a little, we want more. Butu banga tulina kaka tono tu sigala tu yayani na kwe yongera. If we have a lot, we want even more. Ate nebo fune chingi ero sigalo yayani na kwe yongera. Wherever you are in life. I know you want God to bless you in your finances. But if you want God to bless you in your finances, you need God to you need to position yourself where God can bless you. Amen. Amen. If you see a cloud over there. A cloud. And rain is raining down. And you are here in the burning sun. And you're praying to God. God let it rain on me. God send rain. And God says, but look at the cloud. Go where the cloud is. Then you can enjoy the rain. Mm -hmm. Amen. Sometimes we pray for God to bless us financially. For God to do a miracle in our money. But then, God says, look at what I say in my word. I've told you how I can bless your finances. Sure, God, bless, uh, God answers prayers. But God has also given us keys to how we can see his blessing in our finances. So we're going to look at some of those keys so that we can position ourselves well and be blessed in our finances. So, first of all, I want to talk about money. What is money? Now, see this one. I think this is the biggest money in Uganda, right? The biggest note. As far as I haven't seen a bigger note at least. So this is what we're talking about today. Money. Sente. I've learned that word. Sente. Yes. Sente. <laughs> now, Kakati. some people say that money is evil. Money, money is evil. Money is evil. But if we look at this piece of paper, is this piece of paper evil? What can this piece of paper do you when it's hanging here? It's just a piece of paper, right? 
The thing is, in songerinti, money, sente, is something that we can use to trade. Chechintu chetu yezo kose sa oku 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 wanyi siganye bintu. It makes it easier for us to buy things. Chetu yangu yiza oku bake bintu bintu gula no kutunda. And money, era sente, is a dead object. Chintu chifu. This money. Sente zinu. Cannot jump up and kill you. Tezisobla kujane zikwe tira. This money cannot do anything when it's hanging there. Sente zinu zina chelizinza kukolanga ziteke dua o uteke dua. It's just a piece of paper. Kaba kapapula bupapula. It cannot do anything alone. Tezikai na cheka inza kola kubwa ako. But. Na ye. When you pick up money. Boku ata sente zinu. Then. Orono. You can use it. Osobolo ziko zesa. For good. Orobu lunji. Or for evil. Obo orobu bi. Mm-hmm. Do you agree? Tukiri ziganya. When it's hanging there alone. Bezibanga zidi ya ozo ka. It's just a thing. Chiba chintu buntu. But when it's in your hand. Na yebo zitu ukamu mkono guo. You can use it. Osobolo kuziko zesa. For good. Orobu lunji. Or for evil. Obo orobu bi. Amen. Amen. So it's not the money that is evil. The Bible says Bible in 1 Timothy chapter 6 and verse 10 it says that love of money is the root of all evil. It's not the money. Money can be a blessing. Money can be wonderful. Money can build the kingdom of God. It can help you serve God. But if you love money more than God, then there's a problem. I want no nabe watandikida. Then there's a problem. If you're sitting there now thinking, oh, maybe if people are distracted, I can run up and grab the money. We're not supposed to love money. We're supposed to love God. And we're supposed to love, use money to serve God. Amen. Amen. But we decide. We have to make choices. How we spend our money. And that is where the key is to being blessed in your finances. How do you spend money? Amen. That's Amen. what we're going to talk about today. Luke 12, Luke 12 verse 34. You can read these things at home. But in Luke 12, 34, Luke 12, 34, Luke 12, 34, it says, where your treasure is, that is where your heart is. Mm-hmm. So if your money is your treasure, that's where your money will be. But if your treasure is God, if your treasure is his salvation, that's where your heart will be. Amen. Amen. We need to get that straight. And we need to know that money belongs to God. They may be in your mobile money account. The money may be in your pocket or in your purse. But the Bible says that all money belongs to God. In Psalm 24, Psalm 24, Psalm 24 verse 1. The Bible says that the earth is the Lord's 
and all its fullness no kujula kwayo and the world and those who dwell therein nensi yona nabantu abajitulamu so it's so easy for us to think this is my 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 mine o yinzo kwangu irogamba ezino sente zange 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 But if we have that attitude that my money belongs to God. Maybe that will make it easier for us to handle our money well. Mm-hmm. Amen. Guess what? Anything we have. Every gift we have. Every talent we have. Is from God. Amen. Amen. It says in James 1:17. Listen to this. James 1:17. Every good gift. Every good gift. Every perfect gift. Is from above. And comes down from the Father of lights. With whom there is no variation or shadow of turning. So every good thing in your life. Comes from God. Your children. They belong to God. But God has said I give them to you to raise them. Let us keep remembering that. Every talent you have. Buli talanta jolina. Like the women dancing here. Nga bakazi wembala benga abachala wembala benga bazina. Your talents belong from to God. E zo talanta ze mulina ze akatonda. Use them to serve him. Era yagala muziko zise okumuweleza. Amen. Amen. And we need to remember. The Bible says. Bible that the Lord is the one who gives you power to make wealth. Ntikatonda yakuwa obuyinza obokola obugagga. Amen. Amen. So we're talking here about how can I see God's blessing in my money? Kati tuogera wano tinyiza anti okulaba omukisa gwa katonda mu sente zange. Remembering that it's all about God. Ngatujukira anti byonna bili katonda. Asking God. Ngatusaba katonda to help you in your business. Okuyamba mu mirimu jo. To give you favor. Okuwa okuganja. So that if you have a business. Nti wobo ino omulimu. And there are many businesses where you are. Era waliye mirimu minji nyo yije mobera. Why should a customer come to your business? Rachi omuguzoli ajja eri gwejo byotunda. Because the favor of God is upon you. Kubanga okuganja kwa katonda kuli kugwe. Amen. Amen. So we need to remember that it's all about God. Kale chitu gwani lokujukira nti byo nabye tololera katonda. Yes we work. We wawo tukola. We use our wisdom. Tukozisa amagezi gaffe. But our strength, our wisdom also comes from God. Na yena amagezi gaffe na amanyi gaffe na bibi veri katonda. Amen. Amen. It's all about God. Byonna byetololera katonda. So, no Rachel. The Bible tells us that we need to be good stewards. Bible yetugamba tulina kubera abawanika abalunji. We need to be good stewards of the money of everything that God has blessed us with. Tulina kubera abawanika abalunji ebi bintu byonna katonda byatuweredde mu mukisa. And stewardship has to do with how we live our lives. Ero buwanika bukwatagana nenge lichije tambuza mu bulamu bwaffe. Uh the Bible says Bible yegamba that um oh there was something that was missing there. Okay. Um praise God. I'm trying to remember back. Good stewardship. Obuwanika obulunji has to do with how we live. Bukwatagana nengeri jetu jetambuza mu bulambu wa fe. And one of the things that we need to do. Ere chimuku byo byetu ino kola. Is save for the future. Kwe kubanga tutereka yoko. God has given us wisdom. Let's use that wisdom. Amagezi ago tugakozese. Putting aside a little. Ngatubaka akatono tono ketutereka ko wabali. Putting aside a little. Ngotereka ko wabali akatono tono. There is a story that we all know very well. Waliwo lugero fenna retu manyo bulunji. It's in it's in Genesis chapter 41. Luli mulubereberye esule yana muemu. Remember the story of Pharaoh and Joseph. Pharaoh had a dream. 
farao ya ine kiroto about the seven fat cows and the fat the seven skinny cows na yalota ku nte ensava enene musanvu nente enkovu musanvu and he didn't understand what does it mean ngatategera nakutegera bitegeza chi and then joseph got the interpretation for that dream from god kati yusufu nafuna amakuru ge kiroto kino kuveri katonda saying it means that there will be seven plentiful years namugama anti chitegeza waja kuba we miyaka musanvu eje ejo chengera followed by seven years of drought and hunger atoro jidirirwe emyaka musanvu eje njala okay that was the interpretation agogegali amakuru ge kiroto but then comes god's wisdom kati atoro amagezi ga katono ne galyo kagajja that god gave to joseph katonda ge yawa yusufu now you know this what should you do about it eh kati olibe bitege doro genda kolotia so joseph's spoke to pharaoh and said kati yusuf nayo gereli pharaoh namugamba nti during the seven good years nti mubange lye myako musanvu emiru eje chengera put away one fifth of everything gena ngo jako chimu kubitano ora echabuli chintu and save it o chitereke so that in the seven years of hunger and famine and drought kati oro mu myaka jili omusanvu eje njala ejo ejo bukalu what you have saved up will help you chiri bili byo badengo tereka bye bijjo kugasa mhm that is god's wisdom agoge magezi ga katonda some of us abamo kufe we get a blessing tufuna omukisa now i can go and buy that dress i've been wanting katino gama ha nino geno gule chitete chiri chemba denga njagala bulijjo uh-huh we wow now i can finally go and make my hair kati kangende nkola ka vili but na ye god's wisdom amagezi ga katonda is that when you get a blessing gaga manti wofuna omukisa put something away ba ko chotola ko chotereka keep it chitereke you're going to need it oja chetaga one day oluna kulumu amen i'm not saying it's bad to buy a dress siga manti okugulo echitete echibi and you will look very smart today atoba mwanyiri dene muyitiriza but na ye Let us remember to save. Tujukire okuterekanga yoko. That is God's wisdom. Agoge magezi ga katonda. Amen. Amen. Yes, praise God. Amen. We're talking about stewardship with money. Twogera kubwanika nebye sente. And the Bible says. Bible yegamba. In Luke 16. Luka 10:10. Luke 16 verses 10 to 13 for those of you who are writing and I see many are writing I'm so happy. Bana yensanyu sokula banga buli muntu akutamyo muntu na abako cha wandika luka 10 na mukaga 10 okutoka kule 13 The thing is ensongeri nti by profession I'm a teacher Kale munda bilwa na yindi musomesa I used to be a teacher in secondary school before I came to Uganda Na somesa anga bana ba high school nga sina jawan So even when I try to preach I end up teaching I'm sorry Kati ne bwentani ko kubulira eranze ne sanga ntanse kusomesa That is how God put me together Awo wato ye katonda boyanga tagatta So I'm very happy when I see people taking notes Chinsanyo sa okulaba nga mwina bye muwandi Because I know Kubanga mmanyi I always use a lot of scriptures Because se bya wandi kuba binji Because I know the word of God has power Kubanga mmanyi chigambo cha katonda china amanyi To do uh, to do something in your life Okubako chechikola mbulamu bwamwe So it's not about my word but it's about the word of god. So in Luke 16 it says. Luka That if you are faithful in little. Ntibobero mwesi gwa muchitono. Then you can be entrusted with much. Kale no sobolo kwesigisibwa ebinji. But if you have a little. Nebo boli ne chitono. And God sees that you're not faithful with that little. Kale no nala banga toli mwesi gwa ne chitono cha kuwadde. He cannot entrust you with more. Kala atoba tasobola kwesa igisa binji. So some of us think, abamu tulowoza when I get money. When I funa sente, when I get money. Kala atoba atoba when I funa ku sente. I'm doing this 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 this. Njagena nkole chino na chiri na chiri na chiri. But na ye if we are faithful even in little. Bobero mwesi gwa nechi tono then we can be entrusted with much kale no sobolo kwesigisibwa ebi this is about positioning yourself where god can bless you wano chitegezo weta demo muchifo katonda wasobolo kwera omukisa so if you show god that you are faithful with whatever you have whether it's little or much bo laga katonda ntio limwesigwa necho chakuwadoba chitono bachinji 
Then he says, "Ah, oh, yes, that one." Naga maha oyo mulabye. She can handle a blessing. Oya sobolo okute okwato bulunjo omukisa. Let me bless her. Kamuwere dalo omukisa. If you are faithful. Boba omwesigwa with what you have. Necho cholina. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Nyale amkamaliye bazibwe. Because ensongeri nti we have to serve God with our money. Tulina okuweleza katonda ne sente za fe. If God sees that we don't use our money to serve him, katonda bwa laba nga sente za fe tuzikozesa kumuweleza. Then, orono, why should he entrust us with more? Racha te aba twesigisa ezisingako. Amen. Amen. Another key ensongendala to seeing god's blessings echi sumuluze kila inge joinzo kulaba mu kisagwa katonda is the principle of sowing and harvesting yen no no eyo kusiga no kungula that is a principle that works in every area of life eyo yen no no ekola mu buli nsonga eyo bulamu it works in money ekola lambye sente but in every area of life na yene mu nsongendala zone zo bulamu have you ever noticed when you smile to people Wale chigendele deko bo mwenyeri abantu they smile back nabo ba mwenya have you seen that they cho chitege deko you try it you smile chigeze ko no ya kulinanye they have mwenya. to smile back bo mwenya nabo ogenda okulabanga ba mwenya amen amen when you sow bo siga you will harvest bo jakungula that's a principle eyo yenono i'm sure there are farmers in here Nzikiriza bwana wali wa balimi. And I'm sure that all of us we have planted something in our lives, right? Nzikiriza nti fena tulina che tusize ko mbula mu bwafe. Even me I'm a farmer. Nanga atoba ndi mulimi. I have matoke. Nina ye ya matoke. Gonja. Bogoya. Nina bogoya. Coffee. In a uh, 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 kawa. We used to have um, Mwanga. maize. Uh, we planted beans. Twali manga kasoli ne bijanja. And even yams in the wetland. Atoba na mayuni mulusalu. So I have tried. Kale mfubiye nange. And it's wonderful when you've planted something. Chinyu mango ine chintu chosize. And you're checking. No chikebera ko. No chikebera. No bera ngo. And then you see it sprouting. No chilaba nga chifubu tuseyo motaka. That is good. No ulile sanyu. Then you know the seed was a good seed. No manya nti aha eye nsigo yali nonji. But. Na yate. If you sow a seed, bosige nsigo. And the next day, oh, like, ah, where is my harvest? No gamba nayi, amakungula gange yega. I sowed something I should be harvesting. Nayi nache nasiga wano yanga sira bache na kungula. It doesn't work like that, right? Bana ngete bikola bityo. It takes time. Bitwala akadde. Right? Amen. Sowing a seed, okusige nsigo yo, is step 1. Ye dale lisoka. Harvesting is the last step. Kati ato makungula gajja ku dale lisemba yo. The, in between there you have to weed. Kati masekati awo you know kugumikiriza. You have to water, right? Oh you know kulabirira. Yes, if you want to have a good harvest. Bobo yagala kuba na makungula malunji. So we need to sow. Kale kitu gwanira okusiga. We need to sow seeds. Tuteko kusiga ensigo. We can sow seeds of money. Twinzo okusiga ensigo ze sente. But we can also sow seeds of other things. Twinzo okusiga ensigo eze bintu ebirala. You can help people. Osobolo kuyamba abantu. You can share what you have. Osobolo gabana kwebe byolina. What I did, I think it was last week. Ninache nakola ndoza submit ye wedde. Because I've seen that these days there are lots of dresses like this in the market, right? Have you noticed that? Kubanga this style, it's in fashion. Enaku zino wali engo yezifana bweziti nyinji mukatale eyo. And it's been my favorite for some time now long before it became fashionable. Kati atenze nali nyumirwe bingo ye bweziti okumale banga. But somehow my budget didn't say money it didn't say uh, dresses this month, right? Na yenga ate embalirira yange ate tedina amuchango ye mwezi guno. Was no space for, for dresses. Temwali mu bya sente za gulango ye. So I said to my husband. Kati ningamba omwami. I have some dresses that I don't use anymore. Nina yo kungo ye nze zempu ya zasicha yakozesa. My changing dress Ulugoyere na chusi zamu some other evening gowns walwe ndaleza kawungezi and somehow they don't fit so well anymore ah nenda lete zichantu kana bulunji and i feel i've gotten too old for these strapless dresses kati ndampulira nga nkuze tezichansana let me sow them as a seed kati tusige nsigo so i gave them away kati ne tuziga ne nzigaba and the young women who who got my dress they were so happy kale bali aba wala bataba afune ngoye zange bone basanyuka ne bazina So that is a seed. Eyo nsigo. So now I'm wondering. 
God, when am I seeing my harvest? Because I know I have a seed in the ground, right? Because you cannot be expecting a harvest if you haven't sown a seed. You may ask God, bless me. And then God says, where is your seed that I can bless? You need to make sure that you have sown seeds. Seeds. Seeds of good words. Seeds of helping people. I have a testimony, but it's a bit long, so I won't tell the whole thing. But before I got married, I was in Norway. I had my own apartment. I had my own car. And in my area, in my neighborhood, there were two families one was a family from Nigeria another family from Ghana and they were members of my church and I knew they didn't have much and they didn't have a car but they had children so whenever I was going to church I would call one of the families and say you want, are you coming to church? Should I pick you? And going home from church, I would always make sure that I filled up my car to help. The thing was, it didn't cost me anything. Right? Because they were my neighbors almost. And I was going to church anyway. The fuel was the same. But it was easy for me to help them. Right? And I never thought of getting anything back. But there was a time. I went for a birthday in London. In the UK. A Nigerian woman there. I didn't know her well, but she had invited me and I accepted. My friend and I went. We didn't have so much money. But I'm telling you. From we arrived at the airport. We were blessed. With what? With transportation. We were picked and dropped and taken back to the airport. I had not expected it. I had not asked for it. But it was offered to me. And I think God had been looking for a way to bless me back. Because at home I didn't need help with transport. Right? But here I was in a strange city. It was such a blessing. And I didn't understand it during the weekend but coming back home and reflecting on it afterwards I realized I had gotten a harvest God had blessed me back Amen, Amen. God doesn't need, didn't need to bless me back when I didn't need it, right? He was looking for a situation where I needed it. Amen. Amen. And sometimes, we may think, I blessed you. When are you going to uh, do something back for me? Right? <laughs> but it doesn't work like that. You may bless somebody. And then God uses somebody else to bless you back. That's how it works. Right? We don't help or we don't give expecting that person to give back. We give because we are happy to help. But our blessing can come from anywhere. Amen. Amen. And sometimes it will come as a surprise. Oh, I didn't expect anything here. Amen. Amen. Praise God. 
There are several scriptures in the Bible about sowing and harvesting. Waliwo ebyawandikwa bibi mu Bible ebikwatagana no kusiga no kungula. Let me just say uh, mention Galatians chapter 6 for you. Kanjogere bogezi ku bagalatia mukaga musanvu. Galatians chapter 6 and verse 7. Abagalatia sura ya mukaga onyirwa musanvu. It says like this. Chigamba bwechit. Do not be deceived. Tolimbi bwanga. God is not mocked. Katonda tosobola kumunyoma ba muisa mu manso for whatever a man sows kubanga buli muntu yenna kyasiga that he will also reap ejo na echa na kungula amen amen so make sure you sow good things kakasango siga birunji because whatever you sow good or bad you will reap it kubanga cyo nacyo sigo bakirunjo bakibi ejo era cyo cyo kungula so make sure you sow good things kakasango siga birunji make sure you bless others kakasanga baloba wo mukisa make sure you have many seeds in the ground kakasango ina ensigo nyinji mutaka because some seeds kubanga ensige ezimu they don't take long to germinate and give a harvest tezirwa wo kukula ne zileta na makungula may take like one season right bola banga kasoli akuli ya miezi nge ebiri esatu but if you plant a matoke tree nebo simba ebitoke It takes long before you get that matoke to eat. Ebitoke birwa wo kuwe toke na wo lirye. Is it one and a half years? Oba mwaka nga gumune ekitundu wao. One year from you plant the first tree to like okuva bo simba paka wono lya kutoke. And I think pineapple takes even longer. Ndoze enanansi zirwa wo ko. So you don't I don't know which seed takes longer or shorter we don't know but make sure you have seeds in the ground simanyi nsigo chene rwawo bene yangu wanegwe kakasango inayo konko nsigo mutaka then when the time is right echi sere anga chitu se chitu you will harvest from those Oji. seeds you have sown oja kungula kunsige zo wasiga because the word of god is true amazima gani te chigambo cha katonda cha amazima god says you will have a harvest katonda gambo ja kubana amakungula you will have a harvest era we wa wa chikaka sa ja kubana amakungula so No Rachel. Make sure when you're asking God to bless you, tell ask him to bless your seeds. Bobango saba katonda kuwa mukisa. Mugamba wa mukisa ensigo zo. Remind him of the seeds you've sown. Mujuki zensige zo 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 siga. God, you saw that gift I put in toward the mission. Nti mukama walaba ensige yo jenateka mu mubabuli zibenjiri. You saw the the gift I gave toward building a church Mukama ensige yo jiraba jenateka mu mukuzimbe kanisa You saw the food I gave to my neighbor Mukama olaba nemere yo jemba denga mpapalirwa nabange All those seeds Ensige zo zonna God will bless you back Mukama jakuwa na yo Amen Amen Praise God Amen Now another key Echi sumuruze echi dala to see in God's blessings Enge jo inzo kulaba mu mukisa gwa katonda Is linked to sowing era chirinenge akakwate nokusiga we call it generosity chino chita okugaba generosity omutimo omugabi giving out okugaba sharing what you have okugaba na kwebyo byolina you know parents are often like children are often like their parents abana bulijjo batero kufana gana bakadde babwe is that true sichecho yes who is your father ani chitao god katonda and how is god Katonda aliatia There's a scripture in the Bible. Walwe chawa ndiko mbibuli. I've heard it been called the little Bible. Mbulida bamba jita Bible yentono. Because in one verse it summarizes like the whole message of the Bible. Kubanga mu wano e Bible yo no baka bulingo bumbidwa bumbidwako. We're talking about the Gospel of John. Tuogera ku njiri ya Yohana. Chapter 3. Esule yo kusatu. Verse 16. Onyo 10 mukaga. It says ngashigamba for God so loved the world kubanka tunda boyaga lensi bwatu that he did what nakolatia he gave nawayo amen amen that is the kind of father we have echo chetika cha tata gwe tulina he has so much love that he gives i know kwagala kunji nyonti awayo and he didn't give something small atete yawayo chintu chitono he gave the best he had yawayo chisingo bulunji chiyaina He gave the best he, he made a sacrifice. Yawayo yakola sadaka. He didn't just like oh let me see if I have some change to give. Deyaga mugambi okanda baba nne bifikirawo byembampa. The most precious thing he had. Yayina echo muwendo echinene che yayina. The thing that would pain him the most. Echo chali chisinzo yinzo kumulumenyo. Is what he gave for you and me. Echo che yawayo kuluona ange. Amen. Amen. He gave his son. Yawayo mwana we. For us. Kurafe 
Even when we didn't deserve it. And we are his children. We are to be like our father. So we are supposed to give. Not because we have to. But it should be because we want to give. Amen. Amen. The Bible says in Acts 20. Acts 20 verse 35. It says that it's more blessed to give than to It says that it's more blessed to give than to receive. It is more blessed to give than to receive. We all like to receive. Who doesn't like to get a gift? Right? Just thinking about it makes you smile. But right? to see the joy that we have in somebody's life when you give to them, when you share what you have, that is more blessed, the Bible says. Amen. 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 I believe that you've already given in your life. And that you've seen the joy in the people who have received. But if you haven't tried giving, please give. And then you'll see the joy. The joy you cause in somebody's life. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Sometimes we think Ha, I don't have. But one day, when I get rich, when God blesses me, ha, then, oh, I'll be the most generous person in the world. When only God blesses me, ha, then I'll give. I'll give in the offering. I'll give to people. I want give. But guess what? Whether you have little money or much money, you can give. Mm -hmm. You can give. And just because you have more money doesn't make it easier to give. It doesn't. The thing is, Someone who has more money will have a bigger house. And the rent will be more. Maybe you'll get a car. And then you have to fuel the car. You have to repair the car. Maybe you send your children to better schools. And that costs more money. So just because you get more money doesn't mean you have much money to give out. Because your life will change in accordance to the money you have. So, it's that thing that we talked about earlier. If you're faithful in little, you can be entrusted with more. If you are not generous when you have a little, maybe you will not be generous when you have more. You can share even when you have little. We have a woman in our church. Uh, she's a single mother. And she has been struggling with jobs, doing peace jobs here and there. And then, of course, when COVID came, she had nothing. She had no savings. So, but she was used to being the one who always didn't have. And in her neighborhood, everybody knew. She didn't have. So then COVID came. COVID And my church in Norway sent a blessing. Telling us to 
to make sure that our people had food to eat. So for my husband and I were were in our house we couldn't drive our car we couldn't do anything but we loaded mobile money and sent it to the people in church and then we called people and said go to church bring a cavera there's food for you so this woman got her portion and then we received another blessing so we could send more food when we came back from COVID, and we gathered for the first time, people had testimonies. And this woman said, for the first time in my life, I had more than my neighbors. I could share my food with my neighbors. She was so happy. That was her testimony. She had been able to share her food and be a blessing to other people. Amen. Amen. She could have saved that uh, posho, that rice. Osanga yandi bade yesi galiza na yetele kera kachere kako nakaunga. But she chose to share. Ne ya sala wo okugabana. Amen. Amen. So even when you, because even if she had food right then, her life situation were still difficult, right? Kubanga era ne wanyang kubade yari agaba. Oblambo bari buchali era buzibu. She could have chosen to think of herself and her children only. Yandi bade sasa wakwero oza ko ye na ba na be boka but she chose to share. That is generosity. Even when we have little, we can still share. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Remember the story in the Bible? Jesus was in the temple. I don't know how he did it, but he was watching as people were giving. I don't normally watch and see what people give, but Jesus did. And these big people were putting in big money. And then there was the widow. She gave two mites. I think that's two coins. But remember how Jesus praised her. Saying that the others. They just gave out of their abundance. They still remained with a lot in their pocket after giving. But that widow, she gave what she had. That was the, the offering, the sacrifice that Jesus praised. Even when we have little, we can give. We can share. Amen. Amen. We're talking about how to position ourselves under that cloud where it's raining, right? Generosity is a lifestyle. Sharing what we have. And Jesus says, Yes, we are what you do to one of these little ones, you've done to me. When we're generous, not wasteful, but when we're generous, God will bless us. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Sometimes, Orusi. you may think that, uh-uh, this person doesn't deserve me giving to them. Maybe somebody has hurt you. Maybe somebody is not a good person. And you think, ah, uh-uh, this one. I, I, I don't want to give to them. But there's a story in the Bible. Do you remember Joseph? His brothers, they wanted to kill him. They didn't kill him, but they sold him as a slave. Mm-hmm. Remember that? And then there was a famine in Israel after some time. And the brothers came to Egypt. 
And Joseph was a big man in Egypt at that time. He was in charge of all the food. Remember, he was the one who said, let's save up. And then he was in charge of all of it. The brothers who had wanted to kill him, who had sold him as a slave, who had sold him as a slave. They were asking him for food. They didn't know who they were talking to. Joseph could have said, uh, uh, These people, uh, the way they treated me, and now I'm a, they're expecting me to give them food? No way. He could have thought like that. He had suffered because of them. He had suffered. But not only did he give them food, but they gave them a lot. Amen. He blessed them with food to take home. Amen. Amen. That is what generous people do. That is what generous people do. I'm not saying it's easy. But Joseph did it. It's possible to bless even those who don't deserve it. And you will be blessed in return. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Generosity is a lifestyle. But we have to train ourselves. We need to cultivate it. Amen. Amen. We can practice giving. Practice sharing what we have. So that it becomes a lifestyle. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Now, I'm sure in this church you never experience this. But I've met people whenever there's talk of giving money, helping out, without thinking, they say, I don't have. I don't have. I don't have. Every time. They never have. Have you met such people? Always. They don't have. I don't have. You never see them giving. You never see them sharing. And their favorite sentence is, I don't have. Hmm. I don't have. Very dangerous. That is very dangerous to be speaking like that. We're talking about how to position yourself where God can bless you. And we need to realize that words have power. The Bible says that the tongue has the power of life and death. Amen. Amen. What you confess is what will happen. When you say, I don't have. You think there's a blessing in saying that? You think saying I don't have will trigger God to bless you? No. Quite the contrary. When you confess I don't have, you'll end up having even less. Because your words are a seed. Amen. Amen. And you will get a harvest. Yes. Be careful with how we speak. When we have what we call a negative confession. Bobangolina and Jogera Etari in Tufu. 
It's as if we're not agreeing with what God says about us. Chibanga, nti tokiriziganya necho katonda cha kuogea ko. Our father, tata wafe, is the one who owns all the gold and silver in this whole world. Yenanyi ni fedha ne zabu byone byo monsimo. And then you're saying I don't have. Ate gwe nobera ngo kama nze siri no. Then you're not agreeing with God. Chitegeza tokiriziganya na katonda. We need to agree with what God says about us. Tulina okukiriziganya ne katonda cha tuogera ko. Amen. Amen. We need to confess what God says about us. Tulina okwatu lecho katonda cha tuogera ko. There's a song we sing. Walwo limba lwe tuyimba. Let the poor say I am rich. Ntileka abavu bagambe ndi mugag. Amen. Because Amen. those words have power. Kubange bigambe we bidina amanyi. Now I'm not saying you should lie. Sigama ntigena nga we olimba limba. We're not talking about lying. Banange tetuze wano kulimba. But there's another story in the Bible. Na ewa luwo lugero lala mu Bible. Um the next one It's in Acts chapter 3. Dulimu eh bikolo bya batume sura yo kusatu. It's Peter and John. Wano yali Peter no yo kan. They're going to the temple. Bagenze mu yekalu. And then there's a man begging there at the entrance to the table. Nga wali wo musajja omulema ali wali ku muliango gwa yekalu asabiriza. He's asking for money. Asabiriza mba muweka sente. And Peter had nothing in his pockets. Peter nga taina mu kantu mu nsawo. So he says silver and gold I have not. Nagama wai fedha ne zabu sirina. You say oh that's a negative confession. Eh togamba eh kati olwa yogedde bubi. But he didn't end there. Nate that's yakoma. That's the clue. Right you can say right now I don't have. Oh yezo gamba kakati kati wendi wano sirina na ye. So what Peter said was. Peter ruchi yagamba chali. Silver and gold I have not. Si, eh, fedha ne zabu sirina. But what I have I give to you. Na ye chenina chenkuwa. In Jesus name stand up and walk. Mulinye lya Yesu Kristo mwanza lesi goloko tambule. The man was healed. Omusaja na wonerawo. He wanted money. Yali ayagala sente. But he got something better. Na ye afune chali chisinga wo. Amen. Amen. Let us watch what we how we speak. Katugenderere engeri je tuogeramu. Amen. Amen. We don't lie. Tolimba bulimbi. But we need to have a positive confession. Ne tulino kuba ne njogera entufu. I'm sorry today I didn't come with money but. Lero season a sente na ye. Oh that but. I can't walk on a ye. There's hope and faith in that but. Wali we subi ne okukiriza mwako. When God blesses me. Katonda bana mpomksa. Oluna dako. Because my God is a rich God. Kuba nkatonda wange katonda mugagga. Amen. Amen. But don't say I don't have period. Togenda maso ngoga manzi siri na. Please. No come out. Let there be something positive. Bela no ne bigamba ebirete subi. Because that is a seed that you so. Kubanga yo ban sigo jo size. Next slide please. Mhm. Praise God. Now this is the last thing. Kanoke kasemba yo. And I'm not going to speak much about it because you know. Sija jogera ko nyoku banga manyi manyi. The tithe. Oh h h webo h mwe che 10. The tithe. H mwe che 10. God says. Katonda gamba that one tenth of everything nti echimu eche 10 echa buli chintu belongs to him change and if we don't give it to him era bo tachimua he calls us thieves kale na abantu ita gabbi it's not my words bana ebi sinze mbiyogedde it's god who says it katonda yagamba oli chibbi i'm just quoting him nze njogedde bya bible i know manyi there are months walu e miezi we look at what we have tutunulira bye tulina and we say ah ah this is not enough ne tugana eba naye katonda nawo kiraba ngabino tulitumala this is not going to be enough this month amazima omwezi guno bino bila katebigenda tumala oh my god is a good god ne katonda ngero li mulunji for sure he will understand nawo katonda ze manya tegera if i don't give him the tide era na bemba simuwadde chimcha 10 ya tege for sure he will forgive me achimanya era jakonsonyowa guess what kankubulire When you don't have enough. Boba to ina bimala. That's when you really have to make sure to give your tithing. Awa te wo gwani de dala dala okuwa ekimu cheche 10. Because kubanga if your choice is Boba ngo kusala oko kulinti to have 100% okuba ne chikume ku chikumi without God's blessing. Nga to ina mukisa gwa katonda or 90% Oba na chenda kuchibu with God's blessing. Nga kuliko omkisa gwa katonda. For sure. Amazima gali. The 90% with God's blessing. Echenda ne echenda kuchikumi no omkisa gwa katonda. Is much better. Chisinga wonyo. Amen. Amen. I have tested this myself. Chino nchigeze seza nange. I've looked at my bills. Ntunuli debye nino okusasula. Saying ah uh, ah. Uh, Nenga mbanti eh. This month. Omwezi guno wabula. The money will not be enough. Sente zira ikatezitumala. 
but I've given my tithe. And then it's not like big miracles have happened. But reaching the end, end of the month. Somehow the money was there. I don't know where they came from. But somehow there was enough. Because the 90% had God's blessing. Amen. Amen. Let us position ourselves where God can bless us. Amen. 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 It's as simple as that. Why stand here spending hours asking God to bless you? When God has told you, the blessing is there. Give your time. Sow seeds. Be generous. Be a faithful steward. Amen. Amen. Let us be faithful stewards. Let us position ourselves where God can bless us. And we will see God's blessings on every area of our lives. Amen. Amen. God bless you so much. In Jesus' name. Thank you for listening and thank you for translating. God bless you. Amen.